What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Man Up, coming at you with one more video today. <sighs> Y'all looking at it. Y'all see what, what, what it is. I, I guess guys like myself is not really getting the message out. I guess these women rather listen to the men that's telling them to go ahead and do these things. Instead of the men that's telling them they're beautiful the way they are. When are y'all ladies going to stop doing this kind of crap? It doesn't matter if it's your butt, your breast, you get liposuction and remove your stomach fat. I mean, all that crap. You see, we know you're only doing it for one or two reasons, maybe even both. Com competing with other women, trying to look good. Because other women, you know, have a certain body type. Or, you're trying to get the attention of a man. Or, like I said, both. And really, at the end of the day, it's all for the attention of, of a man. Because those women that you're competing with is trying to get the attention of a man. So, it's really all trying to get the attention of men. And as a man myself, I am telling you, this is not necessary. You don't want the negative attention that's coming for, towards you. This don't even look nowhere near natural. Not saying that I want it to look natural, because I don't want no fakers, fakeness at all. I mean, what about the women that don't have no titties, no ass, but still gets all the attention from men? What about them? There are a bunch of women that are flat chested, flat ass, don't really have any kind of curves, but still gets all the attention from men. What about those women? Then are you going to go and get your butt and breast implants removed? See, the crazy part about it is you have to find certain kind of genes pants period to, to, to make this even look even kind of uh, I, I don't know man you just can't you just can't wear certain clothes anymore because you decide to do this look at the end of the day man all I'm saying is this here ladies y'all are beautiful the way you are why do you do stuff like this What was it, uh, like uh, two months ago or something like that? A whole bunch of women came back from Brazil in wheelchairs because they went over there and got the Brazilian butt lift. It's like, why in the hell would you do something like this? Who said that this was okay? Why would you go under the knife for no apparent reason? Because you can't give me no good reason on why would you do this. Why would you go under the knife to get something fake on you when you got people that need to go under the knife to have their life saved, but you're going under the knife to get a fake butt, to get fake breasts, to cut fat from your stomach because you want to look like these women you see on TV or social media or whatever to attract the guys that you really don't want to be with? If you don't have a big butt, oh well. If you don't have big breasts, oh well. If you don't have a flat stomach, oh well. Love the way God made you. Hell, I'm a bald-headed black man. I'm not going to go get no damn hair implants. Oh, so now a lot of y'all women finger red say, well, it's different. W women get judged differently from guys. Well, let me put it, let me throw y'all a little something, something out there. Y'all women judge us guys on something that cannot ever be changed. See, if women want a fake butt, well, at least they can go get surgery. They want fake breasts, well, at least they can go get surgery. I'm not saying go do that. But let me tell you what y'all judge us men on that we have no control over. We cannot change. 
And that's our height. If a man is short, y'all don't really want to give him no attention at all. If a man is tall, then you all up on him. So the short guy can get no love. See, y'all judge us on certain things. Yeah, y'all, women get judged too, of course. But what I'm trying to say is, just love who you are. Like I said, I'm a bald-headed black man. I ain't getting no damn uh, hair implants. I ain't joining uh, the Just For Men Club or nothing like that. No, I'm loving the way I look. Shit. I'm loving the way I look. I don't give a damn who has anything to say about me. You can call me all kinds of names, talk about my appearance all day long. It don't bother me. And that's what I'm trying to say y'all women need to do too. So what that woman is getting a lot of attention? You don't know what she's really going through when nobody's looking. A lot of these things really surprises me. For example, look at the kind of men that these women get that get their body augmented. Look at the kind of men that they get. Yeah, look at the kind of men they get. Look at Cardi B. <laughs> I mean, not even just the women that, that get their body augmented. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say. But, you know, they they go under the knife. Look, look at the just the women that don't have self-respect for themselves. And to me, this is not having self-respect. Look at the women that, that do these things and look at the men that they get. You're going to attract the negative men that you didn't want in the first place. You're going to attract them. It, this woman look like goddamn pot roast being held up by toothpicks. And there's no way you can say this is cute. If I was a man and I'm hitting this from the back, I'd be scared as hell that I'm finna kill her. Because I'm scared that this damn ass is playing for the pop. It's like, really, ladies? Y'all rather spend money on doing stuff like this than what is really needed. Mm, your education, start a business, um... Your kids' education, if you have kids, uh, help the homeless. I mean, whatever. But you'd rather spend unnecessary money for stuff like this. It's like, really? This is just going too far. This is just too much. Like I said, what, in Atlanta, it was like a hundred women came back from. Brazil to get those damn butt implants. They clogged up the airports. And I did a story about uh, two women that went, well, actually it was four, but two of the women knew each other, went down to Brazil. One of them died, and the other one was in the hospital. Why would you put yourself through this? This makes no sense. See, and the one on the, well, they both the same per person, but the one right here on the left, the picture on the left, is the one that, I was like, what? And then when she stopped walking, somebody took another picture of her, of her right here on the right. It's like, are y'all serious? This is just wrong on all levels. And y'all ladies love to say how confident, how strong-minded you are. No, you're not. <laughs> now, I will at least give Cardi B this. She did admit the reason why she got the fake breasts and fake ass. She said while she was a stripper, she wasn't getting all that attention. So, but when she went and got the fake tits and fake ass, she started getting more attention. 
and she did it for extra tips. So I give her that. At least she was honest about it. At least she was honest. Even though she still shouldn't have done it, but at least she was honest. Look, what I'm trying to say, ladies, is this. At the end of the day, we love y'all. And just because you don't have the body parts of this other woman, or you might not look like this other woman, so what? Like I said, you're only doing it for the attention of men. And, and also competing with other women. Them the two reasons. If you could tell me another reason, because you can't talk about this building confidence. Because confidence is come from within, not what your body looks like. Like I said, I, I'm a bald-headed man. I ain't trying to go get no damn hair implants. I ain't joining a Just For Men hair club. No, I'm loving who I am. And don't give a damn about what anybody got to say. No, I, I, it's like y'all ladies just don't understand. God made you a certain way for a reason. It's just like these guys that go and get the uh, 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 penis implants. Yes, I've seen no, those uh, stories as well. I haven't actually seen it, but I've seen the story. <laughs> I think you're ridiculous. If it ain't big, oh well. There are some women out there that'll take it the way, the size, the size that you are. I put it like that. You know, I have to say, throw men in there because you know how women act. Well, men do it too. You know, they got to defer everything to somebody else. <laughs> they can't sit here and take criticism. They got to defer it. But anyway, what I, all I'm trying to say is this here. And I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Ladies, y'all are beautiful. Y'all need to stop this. I don't know if you need more guys to tell you that you are beautiful the way you are. But anyway, this is your boy, man. Up, I'm chunking the deuce. I holler at you.